this particular BSX, one of the new things that we've initiated from an investor standpoint is that uh, we gave an opportunity for startups to actually make a pitch to the investor. So we brought them together in their session, which was the first time ever we did. So I think there's a lot of things that CII is trying to do in terms of bringing the industry together to help each other, whether it's the investor helping the uh, startup or the startup uh, giving an opportunity to an investor. Because, And so a lot of these new uh, initiatives that we are taking at CII, and uh, again, I want to thank uh, ISRO and uh, InSpace and NSIL for all the support. And uh, I, I'm sure the next time around BSX, uh, yeah. I have to work till 3 in the morning, so the cabinet uh, passes all the uh, good news that they did. And uh, the second thing, he's not well. He's actually having a bad cold and a flu, but uh, he decided to come. And the third, I think the nice thing is, you know, the many a times on the third day of an exhibition, things start to slow down. But I'm so glad he came this morning, and everybody knew he was coming, so it was as good as the first day. So I think, sir, I must thank you for thank you. Uh, being here. I know it's not easy. Uh, and by the way, he just came back from Brazil on Monday morning, and then went to uh, Delhi. And so he's been really, really uh, busy, but uh, thank you for taking the time. And see, I really appreciate and uh, we are really obliged uh, to you personally. And then I want to talk about ISRO. Uh, this is the eighth uh, space uh, expo that we're having this in 16 years. And ISRO has been the uh, backbone and they've been so supportive. And without uh, ISRO's support, we wouldn't be where we are today. Um, and I think we've grown from strength to strength. Um, it's, this is, I think we have 160 plus exhibitors uh, today. And overall, we have about uh, more than 10,000 visitors, uh, which is amazing uh, for space. Uh, how, how, who would think there would be 10,000 visitors for space? And I think uh, this is all thanks to the uh, initiatives of the government and of uh, ISO. And of course, in space uh, is something that I've been extremely supportive. Dr. Goenka was here on the first on the first day and also on the second day. So I want to take a few minutes to thank uh, Dr. Goenka and the folks from uh, in space who've been really very supportive. And of course, there's no need to talk about NSIL. NSIL is on the industry side now because it's a private company. Uh, it may be owned by the government, but uh, it, it, it is a part of us. So and. Uh, Mr. Radha Krishna was very kind enough to uh, accept the co-chair uh, as the CII uh, space, the space committee. So, so I wanted to first start by uh, thanking all the real uh, people who are behind this uh, uh, fantastic uh, uh, initiative. And uh, you know, the, this this year's expo is accelerating tomorrow. And I think that's exactly what happened in the last three days, thanks to what the government has uh, announced, whether it is the Chandrayaan 4 or uh, the space station and so on. And I leave more details to come from Dr. Somnath on that. Um, so this is, uh, again, uh, all the media, I think, thank you so very much. Uh, you've been very supportive. Um, we've seen a lot in the newspapers uh, yesterday from the events of the day before. And uh, thank you. And uh, so now I'll hand over uh, to Dr. Soma to uh, say a few words, and then we can have a, a quick uh, Q and A. Please mind that he's not really very well, so maybe we need to be a little gentle. Thank you. Thank you. Always thank gentle. So they have always been very gentle. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Shreya uh, Parao, uh, for this opportunity given to me to uh, come here. Though it is the third day, I am really happy that I could make it uh, to be uh, visiting the stalls. And one thing I can tell you uh, today is that uh, the VSX is growing in, in its prominence, in its size, in its impact. Uh, what we are looking at VSX is to have a, uh, the space and industry connect and to look at the economy of the space activity uh, to be showcased 
not really into the technology side, but technology is an integral element of what we do. So when I saw some of the stalls today, I'm really impressed by the type of uh, work done by many of the industries who are able to bring uh, reasonably high-end technology to India, develop here, though there are certain amount of uh, bringing it here is uh, the initially there, but then they are slowly, the transitioning from bringing to developing here is happening. And uh, many of the space systems uh, people are trying to develop co you know, complex systems on their own. Possibly five years back, you wouldn't be seeing uh, so many of the private startup companies building their own satellites. Uh, today we can see many of them building on their own. They were uh, only suppliers earlier who were showcasing their products here. Today it's just not suppliers, they are developers uh, who are capable of talking high-end products. I think this is a change that happened and we must really appreciate the vision that has come uh, in the space sector opening and also the direction that is given to us to enhance the space economy by participation of industries, uh, especially non-governmental actors in a bigger manner. And we in Department of Space and ISRO are very happy to enable this transition to take place through this uh, engagement. Uh, as already been told by Abrao, so the, the core competence in ISRO is really there, but we would like to use that core competence to enable and empower the industries. So this is a challenging task, we know. It is simply not technology empowering. We need to find out opportunities for business, commerce, and bringing money out of it finally. So this point is something that we need to address it very, very carefully. And this aspect we have been telling again, time and again on where exactly is the business and uh, economic activity of space is lying. This must be well understood. And we understand that in out of the uh, various segment of the space activity, the, the one which works on the rockets, the satellites, then the enabling technologies and the applications. I think all of them have it, their own challenges and their own uh, possibilities. I am very happy to see that on the application segment also there are enough of companies today uh, investing and creating the capability and this is a good, uh, good change. The, our country being such a vast nation, there is so much opportunity for space applications to penetrate and percolate into the various segments of the user community and through that we will be able to create the, the upstream activities of building satellites and enabling launches to happen. So it's a very complex process but then I think we are in the right track and I want to thank CAI uh, and along with the other partners who have joined here to organize this VSX and I'm very happy that ISRO and its partner organizations like InSpace, uh, DOS, NSIL are all part of this uh, activity. And uh, we, uh, every year, every two years now, that we have been conducting this with a lot of participation. And this year, it's no exception. Uh, we have a huge uh, footfall of visitors, industries, and the corresponding engagements are also there. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't spend more time here in the beginning, the inaugural day. There were 14 countries participating. Yeah, that is also important. Uh, uh, the most important part is that there is no longer that Indian participation in SpaceX. It has become an international event uh, through the participation of uh, uh, partner countries like Australia, UK, Sweden and and Italy. So all of them are partner, even Russia, the Roscosmos is also here. So this also showcases that uh, the India is seen as a potential market for space activity and a place where these companies can actually come and work and create value for it. It's a really good thing to happen. So thank you so much for this uh, uh, three days of uh, great engagement with the industries and other stakeholders. That's all, and uh, you just left to we can talk about the new initiatives. No, that let that let be in the form of questions, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Congratulations, sir. Four projects have been approved by the government. So tell us about that and how we are. I think all of you are aware uh, that uh, the four projects announced include uh, Chandrayaan-4, uh, Venus Orbiter Mission, uh, New Generation Launch Vehicle and building of the Parthia Adhirisha Station, extending the Gaganyan program. So these were the four programs uh, with an overall outlay of something like 22,000 crores. Uh, this uh, program has been a part of the vision of government in the Amrath Kal. Uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has announced it almost a year back that in while we uh, look at 2047, we must have a long-term vision in space, which includes not the regular 
thing that we do in terms of applications and uh, communication, remote sensing, but something that will inspire the generation and create a te technological gem in the whole space activity. So the whole of this has been created out of that vision. And uh, possibly you know that uh, ultimate vision is by 2040 we must have um, an Indian landing on the moon and that will come back, he will come back also. And then we will have a space station built and operated by 2035. If these two goals are to be met, then we need to make incremental steps uh, of uh, developing technologies and capabilities. So what we looked at today is the first phase, which will be for about six, seven, eight years of time, what all we are going to do. Those projects are approved. So one of them is Chandrayaan-4, is a continuation of Chandrayaan series of missions, one, two, and three. And we will have future further missions of Chandrayaan. Basically, you should continue to go to moon and then create the capability in step-by-step -step process so as to ultimately land on the moon. Second, we need to have heavier load payload capability. Uh, we Currently, we have 10 ton to lower the orbit capability, which will be increased to almost 30 tons right now with the NGLV. And uh, it's not just payload capability. We are looking at how to bring down the cost of access to space substantially, bringing in reusability, modularity, etc. Then the building space station is important activity. With uh, this many satellites launch capability, it is important for us to look at a permanent habitat where astronauts can go and stay. You know, Gaganian program was only one one time mission of sending our astronauts to space, but that's not enough. We need to have continuity of mission. So though the first mission is still not achieved, we are we are already looking at how we can continue this program and keep a station there so that we can do research in space like the microgravity research by astronauts. सिर्फ कैस्ट्रोल एक्टिव का बेहतरीन 3x प्रोटेक्शन रखें आपके इंजन को हमेशा फिट कैस्ट्रोल एक्टिव विद 3x प्रोटेक्शन देख रहा है विनोद मार्केट आन जान के खर्चे की 